Every year you'll see limits from Spring Valley. It's not hard to catch five fish. Most of those five fish limits weigh between six to eight or nine pounds. Getting past that double digit barrier is what it takes to compete on Spring Valley. You do not have to catch many fish to place well in this tournament. 12-15 yard leader. Oh, I knocked you off. Whoops. I don't think there's been an NWT that I've wanted to win more. Fish. And that fish. would mean more to me to win. Fish. All right, here we are, day one. You guys got to see how our practice went, but now it's game time, and it's gonna be riveting suspense to see if maybe we have a 16-inch sauger bite us. That's sad. Getting past that double-digit barrier is what it takes to compete on Spring Valley. Now, things can get real tough if the water's real high, and the water's real cold, and the water's real murky. Sometimes that those weights even shrink down to, wait, a nine-pound limit is a strong limit on Spring Valley. I'm feeling pretty good. Now we're just gonna go out there and grind. It's gonna be a grind this week, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Got a full night's sleep. I was in bed by nine o'clock. Got my lucky underwear on. Lance, if you look over our anglers today, bring them back safely. Bring them to their families and friends at the end of this event. Find a way to reach them through sportsmanship, through honor, through kindness and grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just to let you know, it's a standard $10 bet per category when you get in this boat. So I don't know if you read my rules on my website. Oh. Okay. Right now, currently you owe me $10. 17B if you want to reference it. Tournament fishing requires that you come back with your five biggest. If you don't catch five in a, in a Spring Valley type tournament, it's rare that you can be successful. Having a banner day, we've caught four. And while all these fisheries have abundant amount of walleyes, the game becomes how do you catch the kicker fish? How do you get from a 10 pound bag at Spring Valley to a 12 pound bag? Most people can come up with a seven, eight pound bag at Spring Valley. How do you separate? That becomes a de uh, determining factor. The only thing we've learned today is get them close enough to the boat so I can net them. I won't miss, I promise. So, I mean, I just kind of looked at how many people are fishing here. It's like a side image this. It's got the rocks. It's got a nice little break line, which would be a current seam. And I was kind of confused. I know one fished it. So I did a pole and caught like three of them. And a lot of times, especially on rivers, you know, boat pressure can move fish around a little bit. But if you're in their zone, there should be multiple, multiple different spots in the area. Hey Logan, can you hear me? No, I'm gonna move up. Different spot. The high line. Max may not be the best river fisherman, but he's learned enough from Mike, and some from JJ now too, that he feels like this tournament carries extra significance. And whether it was last year winning in Spring Valley in the team tournament, or whether it was Mike's presence, this tournament means more than a normal, regular season event. 
not nervous yet. I'm getting there, but. Yeah. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Yeah, I gotta back up. Take him, take him, take him, take him. Numero uno. Um, our morning started off pretty good. Honestly, we started missing a bunch of fish right away. We ended up putting uh, three walleye and uh, two sauger in the live well, and they're all super nice fish. We got one that's real close to uh, 20 inches. Super solid bag, super pumped about it. We're just kind of in pre-fish mode scrambling around. Uh, we're gonna go put the three ways down and start trolling some crankbaits real slow and just see if we can find something for tomorrow just in case that other bite doesn't go. These guys got one. The walleyes are lethargic to say it nicely. These fish are incredibly timid they want a slow presentation. By all accounts, this is going to be a painful survival type tournament. Angler of the year, Dwayne Kelm and Jeff Sass coming up here. Let's go angler. They got a good fish in the box. 11 pounds, 6 ounces. 11 pounds, 6 ounces. Hold a couple of fish up. Minnesota. Hunter Happens is uh, from Middleton, Wisconsin. They're fishing together with five fish in the box. These beat 11-7 right now. For is what? To take the top spot. Oh, okay. You happy with that? Well, yeah, it'd be nice to have over 11-7. 12-15, your new leader. Well, Legit, like five pounder. <laughs> so, yeah. You had a limit though? Uh, yeah. What did you weigh? Uh, 11 6. Well, I knocked you off. Whoops. Yeah. I just wanted five fish. So. <laughs> no, 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 me too. Man, I'm just kidding. You were following the wrong guy today, from the looks of it. You got Dewey, who is in, I think, fourth now. JJ in third, and Hoyer leading. Like that's awesome. At least, at least my buddies are up there. So that's good. Hey, where do I go to get a bag? Oh, oh, look at that. That's what we come to the Illinois River for, ladies and gents. This one fish. This came in right at three. So there was. It came at three. Yeah. Dude, I was like. I'm gonna zero. They were horrible. They sucked. My camera guy cursed me. We decided that we're gonna we're gonna blame Logan for this. We need to do a lot of soul searching on who to blame. Couldn't think of anybody good, so we're just gonna go with the tried and true camera guy. Yeah, it's the easiest move. Yeah, you know. Nope, today sucked. Uh, I don't know what the heck I was doing wrong. Uh, I think if I had to go back, I wouldn't have bounced around as much as I did. I mean, I, f I felt like I fished good. Like, I fished all my good areas. Good news is, one of my boats caught fish today. Because JJ was in my bass boat, so I'm going to take half credit. My plan worked yesterday not rigging up other rods. It was on purpose to shut my brain off. And when you catch a five pounder in the first 10 minutes, it's like, oh, pretty sure we're gonna be doing this the rest of the day. Now, to be honest, you're not going there anyways. No, but they were biting the bukes where I was. Oh. And people just weren't in shallow. Right. And we're leading the tournament. So good. We're leading the tournament and our boat is covered. 
And I can smell the grill that Kane's cooking something. And it's 6.32 p.m. Unbelievably, somehow John Hoyer starts the season in the exact same position he ended 2022. He's leading, he's number one, on the strength of about a four and a half, five pound kicker walleye. That has propelled John into first place. Despite John being one of the most talented fishermen on tour and leading the tournament, he still has no inclination that he's gonna win this tournament. This is still a, if I catch a limit tomorrow, I might have a chance type tournament. So John is in the lead, thinking he can win, but not thinking he will win. About ready to kick off the second and final day of the 2023 Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's National Walleye Tour presented by Progressive here on the Illinois River. Your leader after one day on the Illinois River with 12 pounds, 15 inches. Pressure time now. Time to try to make tournament winning decisions. Four ouncer keeps tricking me. There's a ton of fish in here. I haven't seen any nets fly yet, but yesterday was all bite window oriented. I bounced around way too much yesterday, so I think I'm just gonna have to sit and grind today. If they turn on, it's gonna be silly, but it's a big if. Been at it already, had my tarot red. Things are looking up for me, that's what my tarot Make a dig pass, see if that's what they want. Definitely not the way I wanted the morning to start. Forty dollars to show money, that's what they stole from me. Figure these fish need to fire off, so I'm gonna leave them so they can do that. Like yesterday. Ask if this cold world's making the nose runny, she melted. I wear a cape that is well, we couldn't see it, she felt it. Fish, see it fish, all fish, like fish, I'm fish. Elvish, move my hips like I'm Elvis. I don't pitch it, I sell it. Couldn't picture me jealous, turning fans into zealots, tuning in when I tell it. The hero that doesn't zero. Fifteen people at the gig. Oh, it's oh, real cool about this. Yeah. Did it all, did fish, it right, fish, did fish. It I have two 15 inch saugers. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go pro now. King of Cubs, he comes up right. Always, all days, all night, see. Do I, do I, do I? Highly gifted, my jacket's thrifted. Watch me get a pattern shifted, just acting different. Living in my minutes, I'm catalytic. That's why they love to jack the style like it's on a civic. I will never pull the strings like an oligarch. Keep that low. 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 Keep that Got new cards, new deck, new life. King of Cubs, he comes up right. Always, all days, all nights, sing. Do I, do I, do I? Yeah, that sucks. Max Wilson, Campbellsport, Wisconsin. He had one pound, 11 ounces. Four fish in the box today, five pound in an ounce, man. You know, the last two days have been. Two of the toughest days of my career. Um, this tournament meant a lot coming into it, so to have this finish, it, it's disgusting. But you know what? I tell people failure is a very, very key part of success. And the day that I'm okay with something like this is the day I quit fishing. And I got some news about JJ, and uh, I'm, I'm like a nervous parent right now. I can't wait till he gets in here. So that's that's the important part right now. Owen Wilcox, your NWT Pro, fish with Joe Nickel. They've got five fish to show off as well. 
Owen had four pounds, four ounces yesterday. One six for Joel. Nine and a half pounds, nine pounds, eight ounces, nine pounds, eight ounces. It's a way to come back on a day, huh? Yeah, today was a fun day. Um, it was a grinder for sure, but uh, we were able to get five fish and we're happy with it. <laughs> Oh I got my block and there was God. a bridge in there. Oh, no, that way. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm going to cry right now, Jay. I did. Yeah. Uh, I don't talk about way until it's done. Well, I just want to know if you went. I have How about you? Did you get him? He won't tell you. <laughs> John's, a, John's a tease. I learned that a long time ago. I'm standing in my bass boat right now. My partner, JJ, took it. And JJ was and is Mike Hansen's uh, tournament partner, his brother. The whole reason why we fish these tournaments is in honor of him. Um, to try and get the dub for him. JJ, he had a good day yesterday. He was sitting in third, and he caught his personal best walleye today. He got two big ones and a small one, so he's just short of his limit, but he's got a damn good bag. If he wins this, it's gonna be a party. This is why we came down here. This is why everyone's fishing this. It's a big moment for him, a big moment for everyone. Uh, we're excited. I'm fishing with Neil Bailey today. Dwayne had 11 pounds and 6 ounces on day one. 10 pounds, 8 ounces, your new leader with 21 pounds and 14 ounces. That's a good day, but you've got some hefty sticks coming behind you yet today. Mr. Mark Wilkinson, come on up here. JJ DiMinardi, come on up here. First time being able to do this come on, on this homebody come on. Line. Three fish on, JJ. today. 11 pounds, 12 ounces. What? 23 pounds. Yes! Let's go! Talk about a kicker. Let's go! go! So a little backstory on JJ. He and Mike Hansen were partners together in Masters Wall. I circuit for many years. Unfortunately, we lost Mike to, uh, to COVID. Uh, and uh, you guys came, and you and Max Wilson came last year in Spring Valley for our first MWC event. You won that event, and uh, you thought, if this is coming to Spring Valley this year, you've got to give it a shot, and you've, uh, you've made it count today, man. 23 pounds, 3 ounces, one last set of anglers, all right? We're going to bring up yesterday's leader. He had 12 pounds, 15 ounces. Mr. John Hoyer, come on up here. Five fish in the box today. Need a decent weight, really, you to take it. over this top you spot. Got it. Need nine pounds, I believe, to take the top spot. Eight pounds and one ounce. Yeah! 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 And have you heard some great stories? This is a pretty darn good one. Yeah, I just had it here in my eye over there. It's such a cool story. And uh, I'm super happy for you, buddy. We haven't even met person before, but that first half story, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Congratulations. JJ, in, you're on your home waters with family and friends watching. JJ, you just won $15,000 and a brand new Nitro TV show. In the end, with an eight pound unicorn fish, JJ wins the tournament. Dewey Chelm is right behind him in second, Mark Quartz is in third, John Hoyer is ecstatic with fourth. These guys are ultra competitive fishermen. They all want to win. In this event, a lot of these egos were put aside for the idea that something bigger happened at this tournament. It was a tribute to the legacy of Mike Hansen. It was an acknowledgement that this tournament was about divine intervention. That one fish where Mikey basically stopped JJ and said, no, you gotta fish here before you lock up. That one fish was enough to lift him all the way to the winner's circle and give him a win in his backyard, a win that Mike Hansen never had his entire career. Even after last year, it still felt like there was something missing. Again, hey Mike, I got a boat. <laughs> yeah!
and this schedule came out. I don't know why, but I just had a feeling that it was going to be special. Honestly, I, I've, I've won a lot in my career. Like, I, I've had a lot of awesome moments. I, I feel the same as I did when I won the championship in 18. Um, it's a surreal feeling.